Thanks for everyone coming today. Uh, today, I would like to just uh, talk and share about the how to raise funds from VCs for the gaming startup in Asia. Uh, I have been living in Singapore for almost three years, and uh, I found out uh, several uh, environment for the startup and gaming startup here, and I would like to just uh, try to solve and uh, sometimes uh, uh, solve the issue uh, start gaming startup have here. So today, uh, let's just uh, talk about this issue today. Firstly, I'd like to just uh, make an intro of the, uh, who is uh, Incubate Fund is. Uh, Incubate Fund is uh, one of the largest seed stage BC for mobile gaming and the internet media industry in Japan. We very focused for the seed stage. Seed stage means to the a team has uh, three to five people, and uh, they have the minimal viable products. Of course, they don't have any revenue at all. This is a stage uh, we just uh, do the business with. Uh, we have a kind of motto. We would like to have the kind of first round investor to the gaming startup and also the most of the startup. Also, the, uh, discuss and create a business together with founders from scratch and support them for the further growth and to the IPO or some M&A and kind of exit. Currently, so we are managing 200 million in total for the four different funds. These are the kind of members. Uh, three of our general partner based in Tokyo and myself is based in Singapore and we have a junior staff for the member of four to five members. This is a kind of uh, selected uh, our gaming investment portfolios. As uh, there are several uh, very good uh, success cases of the, our gaming investment, including Aiming, Gumi, and Pokelabo. So in terms of the Gumi, you may have the name of because they they have the kind of operation in Singapore with a member of almost 100 people. And uh, Aiming is a newly uh, listed company in Tokyo. Uh, they are very focused for the mobile MMO company. The monthly, their monthly revenue is uh, almost reached to the 20 million US dollars right now. It's uh, one of the most successful gaming startup in Japan. Also, the, we do have a lot of the collaboration with uh, a major gaming company like uh, Sega or DNA and also the uh, Yahoo Japan is uh, just an IT company, but they are just uh, doing a business, a gaming business as well in Japan market. So the, in terms of the kind of apps ranking, we see is uh, aiming is a number one top ranking is a rank six ranking six title they have. Also the Gumi is uh, they have the Brave Frontier is uh, ranked 18th and the 15th respectively in the Japan's apps. App Store and Google Play, and the Pokerabo is uh, just uh, doing the so so good title with the rank with 63s. F4 Samurai is a uh, who was bought by the Sega two years before. Uh, they have the 15th, 15th rank title they have right now. Uh, this is a list of the uh, our backer who invest in our funds. Uh, the, there's a kind of name like a good gaming company and also the internet monster giant like a Tencent, also the console gaming company leader like a Sega, also the IT giants in the Yahoo. And uh, you may not have a very well about that, but uh, TBS and uh, Fuji, TV, Fuji TV is a, a logo, is a, like an eyeball, is a, one of the major TV broadcasting company in Japan. Also the DNA and the Mixi, uh, who is also the gaming or internet uh, conglomerate in, in Tokyo, is uh, investing in us. Uh, the reason behind the, they investing in us is that they just ask us to look for, the, look, look for and identify and also to find out the great new business opportunity, also the great startup in Japan and Asia. So that's why the, we, uh, General Partner, also the Incubate Fund, uh, are keen on looking for and also the find, find out great founders team, also the great gaming studio in here and the Japan market. For instance, uh, the Sega has a kind of dominant player in Japan market. 
even in the mobile, mobile gaming business, but they are very keen on find out the kind of great partner to make, make a, make a, find a partner on the publisher for those people who can uh, publish their title to the just beyond the Japan market. Also the Asian market as well as the Western market here. Also the Yahoo Japan, they are just a little different from the Yahoo US. The Yahoo Japan still is a very dominant player, number one media, rather than uh, bigger than Google in Japan market. This is a little bit weird though, but they are just a dominant player, but to increase the uh, average revenue per users, uh, they want to go for the gaming business as well. So we set up the joint venture with Yahoo Japan recently, and uh, with uh, 20 million US dollars, uh, it's a uh, kind of big money. They are also just uh, looking for the uh, start investing a startup in, the, in, the, in the Indonesia or Southeast Asia as well. Also, the Fuji TV Holdings is a, a TV media broadcasting company, but they do have a big subsidiary now of the dedicated for the mobile gaming business. Uh, today, especially, I'd like to share with uh, uh, how the VC venture capital ecosystem works, because uh, uh, many of you guys are very focused for the gaming business. Uh, the venture capital and the investment business are a little bit just out of your scope, I, I understand. But to get to understand what the ecosystem is going, uh, I think that so you get to understand how you just behave on talk with uh, these BC players. Uh, there's a kind of ecosystem inside the Japan market, but uh, this is almost uh, identical and the same what we see in the Southeast Asian market. Because uh, there's a kind of uh, two kinds of the uh, investor is uh, in in general, is a kind of seed stage investor and the growth stage investor. Seed stage investor just uh, most likely is a uh, provide the money is a uh, 300k to half million US dollars at most, and uh, they just are uh, very uh, friendly and uh, just a uh, keen on just uh, building a startup together as a founder. The growth stage investor is a little bit uh, their uh, attitude and the way of thinking is uh, different. They the, they just uh, uh, need to require you to just uh, show the kind of number, tractions, also the growth strategy. So even though the, they, you are just uh, doing good on the title and the gaming, but sometimes they just say no because uh, the kind of growth paths are not unseen well. Uh, sometimes it's a gaming business, is a hit and a lose business. It's a very hard and sometimes very uh, difficult for you guys and also the investor side to understand the, what the growth path is. So the, this is a kind of nature. Also, the, there's a kind of two kinds. Another thing from the different angle, we will see the two different uh, types of BC, means that the financial type of financial back BC and also the corporate BC and the corporate investor. So this is a chart, it's a, for instance, the Incubate Fund is a pure financial BC, but uh, there's a kind of GRI ventures here. Also, GRI, uh, this is a back by GRI. Also, the cyber ventured, cyber ventured ventures. Also, the kind of Japanese IT firm just backed this BC. Also, the DNA, Yahoo Japan, Sega. These have the, they, these players will make a di direct investment as well as uh, they have the BC arm sometimes by their own. So the, what we see, what I see in the kind of ecosystem and the seed stage investment here in the Southeast Asian region, there are kind of sev several good players, including uh, Jungle Ventures, Golden, Golden Gate Ventures, also the East BC, also the kind of government, governmental backed uh, uh, seed stage BC. But on the other hand, a uh, problem here is uh, there's no such good growth uh, growth funding investor who are keen on finding out the uh, gaming business. Most likely they are very focused to the, for instance, uh, e-commerce business, marketplace, also the advertising technology sometimes. But it's the most, the problem I found here is that there's no such uh, investor who understand well about the gaming business. So the, I think that sometimes um, even though the uh, startup in, in this region, gaming startup in this region, need to talk with uh, Japanese corporate investor or the gaming investor from Korea and China. So this is a kind of situation I think I 
I found, and also the, this is a circumstance uh, gaming uh, startup around in the Southeast Asian hub right now, I think. Also the kind of, I just, uh, just uh, tell you the one more difference between the financial investor and also the corporate investor is uh, most financial investor is uh, bound by the uh, investment area and the markets. Kind of Singapore based uh, in BC firm is a need to invest in some portion of should be a Singapore and the rest of the portion should be a Southeast Asia. So even though the pure Japanese investor or pure US and China, US, Chinese US, uh, BC firm, they do have lots of budget, but sometimes uh, they have uh, limitation to allocate uh, uh, their budget to the Southeast Asian region. So that you need to just uh, make clear that through the discussion with these people, even though that they have, oh, it's, we're going to have the interest in the investment in this gaming startup in Southeast Asian region, but they may not have the enough budget for that. This is a kind of structure. Uh, this is a kind of what we would like to share with uh, the timing to, for you to raise funds. So uh, we've invested a lot in the gaming startup, but this uh, the kind of you can see the, this kind of the uh, slice and the red red circle just uh, is indicating the gaming startup we invested, and also the a vertical line is uh, timing we invested. Now you can understand the kind of most of the gaming startup we invest in the back in 2010 on uh, or 11. On that time, what happened to the Japan's market is. This is a just a big trend we, we face in the social gaming boom. This is partly because of the force, Facebook just opened up their platforms to the game vendor. Also, the many SNS, including uh, Mixi and the DNA and the Glee, this is a all Japanese uh, domestic mobile SNS that at that time is opened their platform to the third party uh, game vendor. That's why the, this vendor is uh, come up and grows very rapidly. But uh, coming to the recent years in 2014, 2013, we did not any gaming investment. So, so what, we, what I, I would like to just share with you is uh, you need to, and also that we need to identify the, some gaming changing factor rather than the just uh, organic growth and the ex, uh, experience. It means that uh, many just a gaming startup just uh, would like to show their number and attractions and also the organic growth you can show. But sometimes it not, it's, it's not that enough to attract the kind of investor to get involved in this on your board. So you need to just uh, uh, explain and uh, just uh, convince the investor to see the, what's going on in the on the ground in the in gaming industry. Also the, the change of the gaming users' behavior or in terms of the technology change, what we can see in the coming two to three years. This is a kind of also the uh, important factor to just uh, convince investors to, to join on your board. Uh, this is fact. For instance, uh, there's a kind of big change in the blue circle identified. This is a kind of gaming related business, I mean. Is a company like uh, GameWiz is a, one of the most successful gaming uh, uh, investment portal in, in Tokyo. Is uh, this is a game users community? It's not a direct gaming business, but this model works very well. They have already reached uh, that almost a 20 million monthly active user only in Japan, and uh, this this business just uh, started and uh, two years before. It's only two years they reach that level. The, the reason because is uh, there's a big uh, untapped opportunity in, in Tokyo and Japan, maybe in Southeast Asia as well, because, uh, because of the advent of the iOS and Google Play, there's no such uh, gaming community on the iOS and Google Play because uh, they just ban and uh, prohibit to this kind of the gaming community to be uh, works on the iOS Google Play. That this is a kind of a twist. Also, the, on the other hand, uh, this is a game, uh, business opportunity. 
So the, that's why the every uh, business success, I think, uh, uh, can be explained by the kind of change and the opportunity and the game-changing factor. So, so the kind of thing. Also, the aiming is a little bit the uh, late comer of the, this kind of circle compared with the Gumi and the Poké Labo. But at that time, in the back in 2011, there's a kind of big trend is that we have the uh, huge uh, uh, business uh, change of the browser type of game on the PC. So in, historically in Japan, so we don't have any uh, good uh, experience of the market in, in of the MMO type of the business compared with uh, China and the Southeast Asia. But this is only, Aiming is the only company who is very successful, who was very successful on, on the browser-based MMO, MMO, MMO in Japan. That's why the, I just uh, convinced the CEO of the uh, Aiming in the just start the business with us, totally dedicated for the mobile MMO market. Then they, they're gonna succeed later on. So the, every time the, I'd like to stress is that there is a game-changing factor and also the kind of, uh, untapped business opportunity because of the kind of uh, environment change you know, of the gaming development and the gaming users' behavior or new devices, etc. Yeah, finally, and uh, that's uh, the, this is a kind of main topics, I guess, the next investment opportunity. As the most BC is looking for is not just a mobile gaming development, so I think, of course, there's a huge opportunity in the mobile gaming studio and the investment. But on the other hand, it's a little bit for me and the Japanese investor, a little bit difficult to find out the game change factor in the mobile gaming industry right now. So most of the uh, title is uh, dominated by the big player, like a Sega or the Gunho or maybe Mixi, that especially in Japan market. This player is a very struggle to just uh, gaining a share inside the Japan, Japan market. But on the other hand, they are very keen on to find out a great partner outside Japan. So the thinking about the, the how to deal with these people or how to collaborate with these people is, uh, I think, to leverage the kind of uh, resource advantage we have in Southeast Asia. It's, uh, I think uh, some of the uh, gaming studio is a very are good at making a marketing and also the payment gateway for this player, not only the Southeast Asia, but for the uh, global market. This is a very big opportunity I think uh, we should see in Southeast Asian market. Also the kind of mobile game users community and the eSports community is, has not seen yet, but eSports e and the mobile uh, gaming uh, platform community in PC world is a very dominant in Southeast Asia and China. So the, if we, thinking of the, we are thinking of the next generation of the ha half step ahead opportunity is a kind of thing I, I strongly believe. And also the kind of virtual reality and the augmented reality and the O2O, online to offline entertainment, which is uh, especially in, the, in Japan, the maybe as a, uh, kind of in US, and the, there already have the existing player there. But on the other hand, the emerging market like uh, Southeast Asia, it's uh, you can maybe uh, invade and uh, uh, go into the much bigger opportunity where the existing player has not just uh, taking on. Maybe like a case like, a, let's say, a Grab Taxi, uh, the, there's a no such big, big ta taxi uh, existing industry. That's why that they can grow. But on the other hand, uh, for instance, a uh, market like Japan is uh, there's a strong existing the taxi industry. That's why the, the, we don't see any cloning business in the uh, uh, Uber and the Airbnb. So likewise, I think uh, there should be a huge all to online to offline uh, gaming business in Southeast Asia as well. So this is uh, just uh, two to three points. Of course, uh, there's a bunch of the more uh, opportunity I, I, I didn't know well. So then the, I'd like to discuss and discuss with uh, gaming studio and the gaming startups more in this region, and I would like to connect with a console gaming player and the corporate investor from Tokyo to the more smaller or indie uh, gaming startup or gaming platform or market platform. 
that's the uh, end of the, my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's your process of evaluating new ideas and new proposals? Okay, uh, most likely is, uh, we just uh, keep talking with the founders. So this is a, uh, I, I don't see the kind of, the founder and the entrepreneur just make a presentation that investor listen. We don't take this kind of approach. Uh, we just uh, listen carefully and discuss further what the kind of business direction is. Once we agreed for the direction, we will make an investment. Of course, the uh, founder side need to just uh, uh, agree on this direction as well. Just very simple question. You have mentioned one of the opportunities maybe in Southeast Asia for eSports. What do you exactly mean with that? Uh, the eSports means that uh, uh, this is a kind of uh, community, on virtual community, who is uh, just uh, the many people just attend the virtual community where is that even even though it is a sports, uh, it is a game game type game battle or whatever. But I think the online community itself is a, I think it's a big opportunity in Southeast Asia. Uh, Homa-san, morning. Morning. I saw your slide. Uh, you have a, a uh, in your development. You have an incubate camp. Can you elaborate on that? Okay. Uh, incubate camp is a we have it's a seed investment program which is similar to the Y Combinator that that have in the U.S. Uh, we have been the operating in the almost uh, ten times in the for past five years in Tokyo. This is only the two days camp, and the, we openly recruit the ten to fifteen founder team together with a mentor in the uh, each in the, each specific industry and the experts. And we brush up title together on the two days. On the end of the end of the uh, camp, we will make a small size of the investment. The reason behind that we just uh, keep doing the incubate fund, uh, incubate camp is um, uh, most likely is a kind of investment deal is uh, done by black box. So even though the founder just uh, sees a uh, one single investor, that these people cannot tell the people you speak to is a uh, and also the advice from the investor is right or not, a good or not. So that we just uh, see a bunch of the different, uh, uh, let the founder just see and discuss a bunch of different uh, investors and mentors at, the, at one time, and pick the right one, who match their interest or their, their way of doing. Then they, they will form the one team and uh, make a battle in the, with the rest of the 14 and the 15 team. So this is a kind of thing. If you get to much more in detail, just talk to me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You.